Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1114. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1113 to 1115, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we got a great trick here, but I just got to tell you about two links. One is Charles Williams. He's an Excel MVP, one of the smartest Excel guys in the world who has published all sorts of amazing things. This article here is one that I quoted extensively in my Control Shift Enter book. It is a, we well, should just click on it and go read it. It tells you how to improve formula performance, all sorts of interesting things about volatile functions. It even has code that you can copy and paste if you go down a bit here. There it is. You just paste it and then you have a timer in your workbook and you can time any of your formulas. This article and some of these links on the side are just mind-blowing how much awesome information there is there. Another link, um, uh, Excel TV just had Sylvia on, the high priestess of Excel, and there's an amazing history of Excel. You got to uh, go to this link here or just go to the Excel TV channel. All right, hey, we have a sequential set of numbers here. Notice we're counting from 18440, and there's 51s until we get to 50 records, and then we start at 2. Notice 18489, 18490. So it looks like the numbers to on the first part of this text string are consecutive sequence numbers, always adding 1. But here we need to repeat 51s, and then 52s, and then go to 3, etc. So let's see how to do this. Now, the inside of most sequential number formulas is either rows or columns, and you do an expandable range. Now, I just want a formula element that counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 onward. So I'm in B2, so I do B dollar sign 2. I'm locking the 2 because I'm copying it down across the rows, colon B2. That's an expandable range. Rows just says, how many rows are there from 2 to 2? One. But that 2 is free to roam. So Control Enter, double click and send it down. At any point, you can see that 4 is allowed to increase. Row says 2 to 5, there are 4. Now, let's go ahead and subtract 1. We're going to need this. Remember, we need to repeat 1 50 times. So I'm going to start off by subtracting 1. If we go down and look at 50, all right. Oh, it looks like 50 now is where it needs to start the next number. No problem. Guess what? All of these numbers here, right up to 50, what if we took this and divided it by 50? So I'm going to hard code that in. We could easily put it off to the side in, in an assumption cell, which I'll do for this. But uh, we're going to assume that this isn't going to change. What is this going to do? Well, it's always going to give us for the first first 50 some number between 0 and 1. Look at that, all the way down. And so 1 is the first instance of the next number. Now we can use the int function. Int always goes down. It gives me the integer. So these will all be 0. 1, 1.02, 1.04 will all be 1. So I'm going to use the int. It just means give me the integer. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, all the way perfect. Look at that. 0, 0, 0, well, almost. 0, 0, 1. The, the ones are for 2, so we simply have to add 1, and that'll work all the way down. Hey, I've hit F2 to put the, uh, for the cell at the top in edit mode. I edited it. Now I'm going to Control Enter to populate this formula all the way down, Control Enter. And there we have the last part of this. So you can see that's working fine. Now we need to add some to this. So I'm going to come here. Well, I'm going to click on the start number, F4. And I'm actually going to steal this little part, because I always need to add 1, right? That has to increment all the way down. So plus, and since I did rows minus 1, that'll give me 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way down. And I need to join this. These are two different calculations, so I'm going to use the ampersand. I need a space between, so in double quotes, 
end double quote, and then ampersand. So this is going to be a text string now. It's got one part before the first ampersand, then a space, and then this after. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And look at that. Oh, I can't believe it. It's working all the way down. We get to our change here, and now it goes 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. And these numbers in the beginning are incrementing perfectly. Control up arrow. Now let's change the start number to 1852. And instantly, look at that. In fact, you know what? That's so fun to do. Let's change this. And I'm going to click on and then down arrow. Right now it'll be a 0, but I'm going to F4, Control Enter. And then I'm going to put a 50 here. And I'm going to right click, point to the formatter, click there to paste just the formatting, and say repeat. And now check this out. We could type 5. Double click and send it down. And now it repeats new starting number, new repeater, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is absolutely beautiful. So 18, 440, 50, back to our original sequential set. All right, be sure to check out Charles Williams' amazing article on performance and then this amazing video on the history of Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.